Hi, I'm Ben Thompson, and I'm a free citizen of America. And today I have some very important information that I want to get out to you. Now, what we're going to talk about today is how to remove fluoride from your body. Now, if any of you are not familiar with fluoride, it is a toxic cocktail, a name for a loose association of, of toxic chemicals, which um, are added, mixed together, or used separately, and usually put in water, and is even used by the dental associations, but not so much because uh, many of them are coming to understand of how bad fluoride is. Now, what does fluoride do? It basically dumbs down your brain not only uh, physically but spiritually as well it prevents us from attaining to higher thought processes and it makes us lethargic I can tell you that from personal experience and I use a fluoride filter for my water but when I moved into my new place I didn't have a fluoride filter yet. I had, I, I had a reverse osmosis water practically my entire life. And I got into this place, I did not have a fluoride filter. And after a couple months, I just started, I just, I had been feeling myself getting dumber. And it was like, this is the strangest feeling. I, I used to be able to think about stuff, but I just couldn't do it and I was, I was feeling lethargic and didn't have any drive for anything. And so I told this to my mom and my mom said, we forgot to get you a fluoride filter. So we got a fluoride filter and just after a week of, of drinking non-fluoridated water, I, I felt myself getting sm uh, more smarter again and I had more energy to do things. And so not only would I like to encourage you, to, if you don't believe me, give it a try for yourself. Get a fluoride filter and notice how you feel. I tell you it's true. Now for those of you who are already aware of the dangers of fluoride, I would like to teach you the, the most effective way of removing fluoride from the, the body. And it's contained in this jar. And you're saying, Ben, that's just water. I say, no, it's not just water. This is a special solution that I have made, or more literally that my mom made for me, because she's the one who told me about this, and I want to tell you about it. Now, this is probably a common household item that you may already have. It is called borax. Borax is used to soften water, to make it um, easier for your clothes to, to get washed, and for that reason, we use it as a, as a in the in the laundry machine. But the thing is, borax is actually a natural earth salt that is mined out of the earth, just like baking soda is. Now. This, uh, you can you can overdose on borax, and so there's a a solution you have to make in order for it to be okay to use. You take a teaspoon, and you take a teaspoon of the borax. Now I don't I don't know what they do to bor to, to borax. It should just be borax. If you look at the label and it has like other stuff in it, like like perfumes or stuff, I would get something else. Find one that just says the borax or boron or whatever they want to call it. But um, you just want that. You want to take a teaspoon of that solution, and for each teaspoon, you'll need one quart of water, which equals 
four cups of water. And so for instance this was two cups of water so we added a half of a teaspoon. And then shake it up, let that dissolve in there. Now out of this solution you will only take one teaspoon a day. You take that, take a scoop out, put it in water, and drink that every day. Now, how does this work? Uh, the, the borax... Actually, let me, let me explain this first, because I, I know more about that. There is a There are a lot of toxic uh, minerals, or or materials have counterbalances in nature. For instance, mercury has a counterbalance of selenium, and that's the real reason why they don't want you to eat fish. Because you see, talking about the mercury in fish is pointless, because they put mercury in the vaccines and in other stuff, but they don't care about that. But for some reason, they are they care about you eating the mercury and the fish. Now here's the reason why. It's because fish have high concentrations of selenium. Now selenium, when in your body, binds itself to mercury, making mercury harmless and passing out of your body. In fact, in fish, the mercury that is found in the fish is only in the tips of the fins, which we generally don't eat anyway. But the body of the fish is loaded with selenium. So they do not want you to eat the fish because they don't want you getting that selenium bond bonding with mercury in your body, making it harmless and passing out of your body. Well, borax is the same with fluoride. When you put borax in your body using the method that I showed you, you it uh it, it combine if there's any fluoride in your body, and I'm sure there is because it's so prevalent in our society today, it will bind with fluoride, making it harmless as a substance, and it will pass out of your body. And so Another addition is that the borax makes your bones stronger and you'll want your bones very strong for what is coming, especially as the nuclear fallout from the Fukushima disaster continues to rain down on us. Your bones are going to want to absorb uh, lots of calcium and it'll mistake uh, radiation particles, certain radiation particles, for calcium and put it into your bones. So when we have stronger bones, we'll, we'll, we'll be more likely to be able to pass through radiation uh, sickness. So thank you for taking time to watch this important announcement on how to flush fluoride out of your body. Please feel free to question me. If you don't believe me, feel free to Google it or whatever search engine you choose. And let me know what you find. Thank you and have a good day.